again, it's a postseason with Kyle Lowry at the center of what is going on, Chauncey. Why is this kid happening to him? You know, if I knew, I, I would it's be able point. to help my guy out. It's a great point. It. But, <laughs> but for some reason, he just, you know, he just seems to, you know, his game kind of suffers a little bit in certain playoff series. I'll tell you what they do need from him today. They need him to be aggressive. Okay. They need him to be the all-star Kyle Lowry that we all know he could be. Here's something they need to do. Now, Philly's done a good job. Uh, watch Jimmy Butler right here protecting Embiid, knowing that he doesn't move great side to side. But Kyle Lowry has to come off and no matter what, make plays like this, get other guys going, especially with Siakam possibly not playing. Now, this is usually a three-point shot for him. But sometimes you have to turn that shot down and you have to force your way to the basket. This is the aggressive Kyle Lowry that they're going to need today. And he's at home. There's reason for him to play well. But you look at the first round and second round. His assists are way hmm. down. His shot percentage, his field goal percentage, and three-point percentage are way down. A lot of that, you have to give some credit to Jimmy Butler. I mean, that's a strong physical guy that they have guarding him. Tough to get a lot of shots up, especially if you're going to, like, really shoot a lot of shots in a game. There's no clear advantage that he has on Jimmy Butler. All I know is this. He was raised in Philly. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's who they're playing against in the playoffs. You got to give me some aggression. <laughs> like, I need to Fair. see some enthusiasm. You can't be having lows in points, assists, field goal percentage, and three-point percentage and not being aggressive. He got to come out and be aggressive. This, this is what I see. I mean, you have star players and you have superstar players. You need superstars in the playoffs. I don't think anybody really considered Kyle Lowry a superstar. He's been an all-star, been a really good player in this league. But when you get to the playoffs, as the defenses get better, as the players get better, as the teams get better, you need your superstars. That's who steps up, and that's why you see Kawhi stepping up, and you see an emerging superstar in Siakam. You know, Lowry, Kyle Lowry is an all-star, but, you know, I think we're expecting more than what he's really given. I mean, I, he could be a lot better. But why does it, why? He could, be, he could be a lot better, definitely. But I think we're asking a lot of him. You got, you're asking him to Are we? Out. It's every season, so. though. No, DeMar's think. gone, so that's not, you your can't blame him. superstar step up. You know, by no means is Carl Lowry. Okay, well, is he's a star, but he's not a superstar. Is he playing like an all-star? He's not playing like an all-star. Okay, well, why are we asking too much of him, then? <laughs> he's been an all-star five times. He's a really good player. He's the leader the of that team. Two win in the playoffs, you need superstars. When you look back at the history of the Period. league, there are people in the Hall of Fame that haven't been an all-star five times. Right. Okay. And you're a, a Hall of Famer. The other guy still got to come in ball. Pascal when Siakam is up this ante from the regular season. Kyle Lowry has been lower. He got to be more consistent. It's frustrating. I speak for Toronto when I say They'll that. They'll be ready today. And you you're shot him down before. At the house. I blame listen, you. Listen, you listen, shot him down before. Star. This is Toronto's That's MO. We all know this. The past five, I know, but six we thought, years, we they have great regular seasons. We thought. Then they get to the playoffs, and this is what happens. We thought it was going to be different. I, I think that's fair to say.